You know when you have something in your DIY folder for like a year and you're like, I'm gonna do it, I swear I'm gonna do it. And then one day you do it and it's amazing and it's everything you ever hoped it would be and you just wanna share it with the whole world. Today's that day. Literally a year ago, a girlfriend sent me this exact Instagram post of this cutie patootie wearing this dress. It's from Free People. I just thought the whole thing was great for summer. What I didn't love about it, however, is the placement of the seam. Why is it at the nipples? Tell, can anybody tell me? Uh, I thought that was really weird and not particularly flattering. So the beauty of DIY is we get to take everything that we loved and we get to change the few things that we don't and make it specific to our body. If this is your first video, that's what I'm all about. My name is Orly and this is the DIY designer. I do DIY fashion. I do personal style content. Now I'm able to release videos every single week because of awesome sponsors like this adorable jumpsuit. Look at this cutie. This is Zigu. You guys, I'm so excited to share this website with you because it's super affordable and I think it's gonna be pieces you're gonna love throughout the summer. So they have all of these amazing linen sets. They've got pieces that mix and match really well because all the colors are kind of this like earthy, muddy tone that work beautifully when they get intermixed. And this is that little like overall situation. I wanna show you a couple of my favorite elements of this. You can crisscross the straps. So it's kind of like two for one, amazing for summer, so cute with like just a bikini top underneath, obsessed. The waistband is super comfy. So if you wanted to do it kind of low waisted and have the pants be a little longer, you could wear it like this. I like it high waisted and then rolled once. The top looks really great with like any pair of jeans, breezy white trousers, love it with a different top. Let's put on the blue. This color is amazing and because the material is thicker, I think it really lends itself to being dressed up in a really cool way. This might seem crazy, but you could also wear this top with like a cool little, I also got this dress. It is kind of sheer, so you do need to wear like a slip under it, but I like that you can make it as tight as you want in the back. So you could do the sleeves long and off the shoulder, wear it up kind of like this. Again, this is another one that could really be dressed up or dressed down. So I'm gonna link down below everything that I got. I cannot recommend that little overall jumpsuit thing enough. It's so cute. The linen sets are really great for mix and match. Great for vacation because again, you can split them up, wear the pants with a graphic shirt one day, wear them as a set one day, wear the shirt with a skirt the next day. Lot of versatility at a really affordable price. So I want you guys to be able to check it out. I'm gonna put all the links for the specific pieces that I'm wearing in the video down below, plus my code, which is Orly, and that's gonna give you 30% off site-wide. Okay, let's get into today's DIY. Let's get started with this one first. Now, everything I'm gonna use today was thrifted, but you can of course repurpose items that you already own. This skirt was awesome. It had a drawstring, but it also had elastic sewn into the waistband in three different places. So I couldn't actually remove the elastic by pulling it out. I had to cut the entire waistband off. The reason this is important is that we need more width. We want this to be like a straight, slightly oversized dress. So we need the width of our waistband to line up with a wider point in our sweatshirt in order to give that effect. Here's the sweatshirt that I thrifted as well. I thought these colors work together amazingly. You can see that the skirt is a little wider than the sweatshirt. What I'm gonna end up doing is in the center back, I'll do like one little pleat. We don't want gathers throughout. We want it to be straight in the front, but we can adjust the width of the skirt by creating a little pleat or a dart in the back. Now it's time to crop our sweatshirt. Where you crop it is totally up to you. Whatever you think is gonna be most flattering for your body type, work with your style the best. I wanted it to be kind of true waist, not quite as high as the inspo, but not drop wasted. I'm also removing the sleeves. What I'm doing is cutting the sleeves on the side of the stitch. That way the existing seam line can act as a clean finished edge without needing to go back in and sew it. So in order to do that, you're gonna do a little slice that gives you access into the sweatshirt. It's like a little pilot hole. Then you run your scissors right along the existing hem that connected the sleeve to the sweatshirt and you end up with a perfect little tank dress. Now we just need to attach the skirt to our sweatshirt, turning it into a dress. So all you're gonna do is pin the two waistbands together face to face. So you wanna pin the right side of your skirt fabric to the right side of your sweatshirt fabric. I recommend pinning the front all the way even so it's super flat and just pulling all of the excess if you have any like I do to the center back again. We want the front to feel really like clean um, and just simple in the front. So I'm creating in about a six inch width all of the excess in that one space. I'm just creating little pleats, trying to make sure that I do find my center and do maybe three on the right and three on the left. Having them all fold inward toward the center is gonna make it look a little bit more intentional. And now I'm just gonna sew this. So right here, all the way around a simple straight stitch. For some reason, my uh, camera did not record that, but here it is. You can see I've stitched it 
all the way around. It's currently inside out. So when we flip it, we've got a perfect seam connecting our two pieces, clean finish. Seam is hidden on the inside. Pleats look really good on the back. I tried it on and there was a little bit of an issue. It felt bulbousy, <laughs> like right here. I was like, right where the little ruffles start, going up, it just was like a pear shape or something. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is take a little slice right out of it right there, almost like a little pizza slice, taking the majority of the width out of the underarm and then petering off to zero when I hit that first ruffle in the skirt. This is basically a really easy way to take in any shirt. So you can see I'm starting right at the underarm and I'm taking out maybe like three inches of width in that space. I'm starting to go closer and closer and closer and closer and closer all the way to the existing seam right where that first ruffle starts so that it will be seamless and you won't even see it. Again, you start at your widest point, you shave off, shave off, shave off until you get right to the middle and then it's done. You will cut that excess off and this guy is done. Let's move on to this guy, a thrifted Billy Joel shirt and an amazing find. This was a lamb plaid skirt. Now the skirt itself, you can see what I cut off there sitting on the right. It was a fitted skirt with a zipper. So I didn't have the option of just removing the waistband. I actually had to cut down into the skirt to get to a wider point. If you wanna crop your shirt to be shorter in the front than the back, this is how you fold it. You fold it so that you're cutting your front at the same time and your back at the same time. You create a little bit of a rounded shape connecting them in the underarm and that's what creates this effect. This is whether you're just cropping a t-shirt, you know, even if you're not turning it into a dress, that's the way that you do it. Now, we're gonna pin our uh, t-shirt and our skirt together just the same way we did on the last one. We're gonna go right sides together. So the right side of our skirt fabric, lining up with the right side of our t-shirt fabric, pinning the waist together all the way around. Any excess you have, you're gonna evenly distribute. I didn't really have much here. And you can see it's a simple straight stitch. I am sewing a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around in one circle, connecting the two together at the waist. Now, when I flip it inside out, Voila, I have my Billy Joel plaited grungy t-shirt dress and I'm gonna model it for you right freaking now. <laughs>